Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to show you how to unlock your Xbox Live Arcade games or XBLA games, however you want to say it, inside of the Xenia emulator. So I left a link in the description for you to get the Xenia Canary version of the emulator. And this is the most up-to-date recent version you can get. And it comes in a zip file. So we're going to right click and if you're running 7-zip you can go to extract 2. So I'm going to extract to Zinni Canary. I'm going to open the folder. Before I click on anything, I don't want to run the emulator yet. I want everything contained in this folder. I'm going to right click new text document. And you want to name this text document Portable. Just like that. So what we'll do is we'll run the Zinnia underscore Canary EXE. And then we'll close it. And now you can see we have a config file. We're going to focus on that a little bit later in the video. So let's run Zinnia file and I am going to open now depending on where you have your games uh, I have my games on my desktop let's do the Simpsons arcade I'm gonna mute my system and yeah I'm watching Kong's or us because he's awesome so let's run the Simpsons arcade and when we get to the main screen of the game, I'll press start. And you can see we have to unlock all the features somehow, right? So it's like unlock full game. So what I'm going to do is close it rerun it, file, open, and this time let's try my Tron, one of my favorite games of all time. And the reason why I want to show you two games is so there's no like, oh, well, that one game worked, but will others? Yes. Yes, they will. Every XBLA game that I have tested with this has unlocked. No problem. And it's so simple. So down here, it's asking me to unlock the full game. And you cannot change, in Tron anyway... If I go to options, settings, I can't change how many lives I want, anything. It's not letting me, I do not get the enhanced graphics. So I'm going to close it out. And now we're going to go to our config file. It's a T-O-M-L file. But what we want to do is just right click on the zinnia-canary.config.toml. Right click, edit, and we're just using notepad, nothing special. We'll scroll on down until we, you see config here. We want content, content right here. So license underscore mask equals zero. So let's go ahead and take that zero, delete it, and put a one. Make sure we hit file, save, close. We're going to relaunch Zinnia, file, I'm just going to go to open recent, and let's go to the Simpsons Arcade. And just like that. 
we'll press start boom everything the game is unlocked so I know it's like cool stuff but you do that through gameplay the game is unlocked and you are good to go all features unlocked for all XBLA games and I will just show you a Tron while we're still running Xenia file open recent Tron I don't like to cut my footage because I don't want anyone to think that I'm doing something behind the scenes or they missed a step or there's I don't want any of that I want you to be able to follow this through without issue So sometimes my videos may run a little bit longer than they could, but if you edit, it just seems like you're cutting stuff out that maybe people aren't catching. And that's just one man's opinion. So there we go. So now we are, and if I go to my options in Tron, settings, I can change things. And I want five lives at the start, and I want the difficulty to be one because I'm not very good, and I want enhanced graphics and, and all that good stuff, so... It's as simple as that. By changing one setting in the config file for Xenia, you have now locked, unlocked sorry, all of your Xbox Live Arcade games inside of the Xenia emulator. I hope this helps people. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, have a good day.